for this tutorial I'm using the VP Fashion Wraparound Ponytail. It's 20 inches long and it comes in bleach blonde so you can match it to your own um, colour so it's really good for the multicoloured hair girls. As you can see it's got a little, um, some little prongs at the top so you actually pop that underneath your own existing uh, ponytail band and then you just wrap the hair around it like so. There's 100 grams of hair, so there's plenty to wrap around a ponytail, and it covers my hair really well, and my hair's really thick. Uh, it's also really nice and silky too. Uh, another thing that I really like about VP Fashion is that it comes with this little um, handy hanger and protective sleeve, so it keeps your hair nice and safe when you're not wearing it. So to dye this ponytail, I'm using Directions Rose Red for the pink kind of tone. You only need to use a tiny bit of this colour because it is super high pigment and a little goes a long way. And then I'm using Crazy Colour Fire just to add that little bit of corally kind of pink to the colour. And as you can see, I'm just really gradually adding that bit by bit so that it doesn't go too red. And now I'm using a little bit of Vermilion Red from K Crazy Colour as well just to kind of bring up that corally pink bubblegum kind of colour that my own hair is. So now I'm going to start applying the colour to the front of the ponytail. I'm using a tinting brush just to make sure we get a nice even coverage and it's just a little bit easier than rubbing it all in with your hands. Uh, so as you can see I'm separating up the hair as this ponytail is pretty thick. You just want to make sure you get in between all the different layers so that it's a nice even colour distribution and just make sure you work that colour through to the end. Uh, and then what I actually did is applied a little bit of a darker colour just because I didn't think it quite matched my own colour, the mix I did. So that's what I'm doing here, just adding a little bit of a darker colour just to the rest of the ponytail. So here's the finished look, it's all nice and evenly coloured. I've been really impressed with the way the colour's actually taken to this um, ponytail. So obviously it's all 100% human hair, so it's a nice even coverage. So what I've done is put my own hair into a ponytail and now I'm going to take those little prongs and then just place those directly underneath the elastic band that I've used, used to do my ponytail. So now that's in place, I'm just going to wrap the rest of the hair piece around my own ponytail. Uh, there is a little bit of um, Velcro kind of fastening around the actual base of the ponytail. So if you just wrap that around each other, it secures in really nicely and it doesn't feel loose or anything. Uh, and then what you want to do is take that extra bit of hair and just wrap that around the base of the ponytail just to really uh, make it look a little bit more realistic and just hide any uh, joins or any like uh, little velcro bit or the prongs that might um, poke through. So I'm just wrapping that around the base of my ponytail nice and secure. Uh, I'm going to give it a few wraps and then I'm going to pin in place nice and securely with a hair grip. So as this is 100% human hair, you can curl it, you can straighten it, you can do what you want with it. I've uh, just applied a little bit of a curl before I applied the ponytail. So here's the finished look, super quick, super easy way of dressing up your hair with this hair piece. Um, I actually love this hair extension, I think the quality is really good and it's really nice and thick, even for my really thick hair, it covers up really well, you can't see any of my hair poking through um, and obviously it's dyed really well because it's 100% human hair so yeah, I really like this ponytail uh, it also feels really secure, even with that one prong I wasn't quite sure how secure it would be but it's absolutely fine when I move around and I've worn this for a few days now and it's perfectly fine I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and review and if you like this video please hit that subscribe button and be sure to check out the other videos on my channel. Thank you!